All right, everyone, welcome to Stardew Valley. Um, a little 2D game here where you are a farmer. Um, you were given this plot of land by your uh, grandfather. And you basically have to start the farm and save the town. The town is being run down by this uh, big corporation. Um, so yeah, we're gonna clear out some of the land here. Um, our goal today is to clear out some land, get some of our crops planted in here, and um, make some money we're gonna go venture off and stuff so yeah we're just gonna clear out enough land to plant water and uh then go venture off it's yeah all right you can actually see in the bottom already our health bar has uh, declined by a lot so what we're gonna do we're just gonna go venture around the town now um not work too much anymore we didn't do that much, but uh, we definitely exhausted ourselves out. So we're just gonna come out this way. There we go. Very risky over there. So we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna venture for anything that we can grab, anything um, that can we can sell, make money, or uh, anything like that. So we're just gonna, we're gonna buy another 15 of these. So now we have 30. Which leaves us down to $200, so that was about a $300 purchase, which is okay. We can also, um, while we're in town, we can actually dive through the dumpsters and stuff. When people aren't looking, we're going to meet this guy. Oh, hey, so you're the new guy in town, huh? Cool. So now we met Alex. We can meet a couple of our other friends here. Ooh, that's gross. We're not going to come over here. So yeah, now it's nighttime, so we're going to actually start making our way home soon after we keep adventuring this area. So if you come inside, you got our TV that you can actually look at. You can get the uh, fortune teller in here. Um, it's going to be annoyed. Our fortune is saying that these spirits will be annoyed. Luck will not be on our side. Um, we can also watch the lovely weather, which says it's going to be clear and sunny all day so we'll have to go out and we'll have to water our crops if it's a rainy day we don't have to water our crops but it's 11 o'clock let's go ahead and uh, go to bed um so we just leveled up in foraging we can now hit uh, sometimes trees will drop seeds a new recipe was unlocked which is wild seed and then a new crafting recipe for field snack the field snack is pretty cool um so we'll keep that in mind so it gives us the total and how much we make off of the day. We made zero dollars off of farming, zero dollars off of fishing, mining, other. However, we made some money off of foraging, which was forty dollars off of dandelions, eight dollars off of spring onions. Or no, times forty. Yeah, eight dollars off of spring onions, and there's thirteen of those. So. We are looking great. We made some money back from what we spent yesterday, about uh, $300. So we got about half back. Um, so here goes day two. All right, so we have about half of our, a little over half of our energy left. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to keep clearing out some of this land here. We really want to get as much back as possible. Um, soon we'll get a second house for either Weezeek or um, Deadly Talent to come out and join us. Which you would have to go to uh, Robin for to build you a house. She can also build you chicken coops and um, a few other things within that area, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep clearing this out, bring you guys back in a little bit. Alright, so our energy bar is once again pretty low. So what we're going to do for the rest of the day is to go out adventuring, meet more people and stuff. Um, um, we do have three mixed seeds, which I will make a little another field in this, over here for. I cleared out most of the land out this way, and I cleared some down this way, um, out here, so it's nice and clean. We can, uh, we can also take the stone and we can build a path, um, with the wood. You can build a path as well. You can build fencing gates, signs a fireplace, um, torches, all that. So what we'll probably do later on is make a nice little path and really organize everything. But for now, we're going to go up and uh, we're going to adventure a little bit. Um, in this cave, later on, someone will offer us either mushrooms or bats to be in here. And that can give us either fruits 
or mushrooms that we can sell or um, with the fruits you can make jams out of which is awesome when you get the right equipment so we'll, uh, we'll keep that in mind all right we're gonna come check in on our little friend here a stranger hello well don't mind me I just live out here alone oh he sounds so sad but he's actually like a very happy guy um, he loves plants and stuff <laughs> Um, so here's Robin's house, actually. We're gonna just go in and, uh... It doesn't look like she's here right now. Nope. But, uh, I think this is her husband right here. So we can, uh, check in with him. Greetings, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home, laboratory. Have you met my daughter, Maru? Or Maru? She's interested to meet you. Oh, cool. So we have a couple of fans. That's awesome. Um, so that's uh, Robin's husband, I believe. And there's another flower. Look, it's our lucky day. We're getting a few out here. Um, here's a, another person. I'm going to say hi. Oh, this is Haley. Oh, you're the new farmer boy, aren't you? Indeed we are. Uh, oh, I'm Haley. Hmm. If, I, if it weren't for those in this clothes, you might actually be cute. That's something uh, very polite of you um, nice meeting you so okay so the store owner's birthday is actually the seventh on a Sunday so we'll have to keep that in mind and make sure we say uh, happy birthday or something and come to the store no deals for us today it looks like but there is this amazing backpack for two grand so we'll keep that in mind uh, two grand is not that bad I thought it was ten um, so we're gonna come on over here we're gonna that was close. He came out of nowhere. Um, here's the little like food area um, where you can. It's like a little bar basically, but you can get food and stuff here, which is pretty cool. So yeah, this guy's a crank cranky old man, which is okay. I am too. So here's some of our nice little kiddos that live around here. And, uh, Penny. Um, she's always very nice, so we'll get her a gift next time. Here's the library, um, so when we get random gems or something, we'll come out this way and, uh, give it to them to research. We got a pine cone. Or acorn, sorry. And we'll check, uh, Jojo Mart here this very awful company you can see their massive truck which is like triple the size of me um there are no vehicles in this game that i'm aware of i think you can get a horse or something at some point but as you can tell it's kind of a small town there's not much of a need for cars nor a horse everything's so close um so i'm not too worried. Ooh, that was a yawn. We're gonna just run past these kids here. And our lovely Penny. Um, so we're gonna just keep looking around this area. Right here, we'll give, we'll give the flower to Penny. Penny's very nice. So we, we just gave Penny a flower. We're gonna be very nice to her. She's super nice, so might as well show some respect back. <laughs> Uh, we're just gonna keep adventuring out this way if there's any more crops that have grown out here randomly um if there's any hidden treasures out here like look there's a little flower so we'll take that flower um there's plenty of things out here we can uh adventure and look out into here there's one of our friends right there um randomly there is a nice mystery um carriage out here that will sell random stuff i'm gonna say Hi, to Leah. And you know what? It will be nice and give her a flower. Um, might as well be really nice to our neighbors and stuff. Um, they're really, they're nice people. So, um, Leah and Penny are very nice people. So, um, I think some of the most friendliest people you meet. Oh, looks like there's something that broke over here. Interesting. It's probably something we have to fix in the future. So 
we're just gonna come down here around the abandoned house again, and it is starting to get night time, so we're gonna keep that in mind. Come back up, look around the area. Any more flowers or um, random things out here that we can take and sell? Look at that, we got actually a couple more crops here that we can uh, enjoy. There's also a flower out here that we will take. Uh, that is a wild horseradish, um, which is kind of cool. So we'll come down here. We'll take this more spring onions. And I think it's only spring that they come out. Like the random crops out here are, I think. I've never quite paid that a close attention. Um, I realized that on my own one of the days, and, um, still just didn't worry too much about it. Alright, so I think that's everything out this way, so we're gonna, um, head back to the farm. It is about 9.20pm, so it's a good time to, uh, head back. Okay, so we made it back home to our little house here, um... We're going to just sell all of this back off. And uh, we'll check the fortune and the weather for tomorrow. The spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed today. Okay, so luck will not be on our side tomorrow. And the weather report says it's going to rain all day tomorrow. So we don't have to worry about watering our crops, which is awesome. So we're going to get some sleep. Okay, so as we see, we made zero dollars off of farming, foraging, we made $180, fishing, we made none, mining, we made none, and we made $21 off of others. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to look over here. Danny lines, we made 40 we made 62 over wild horseradish, 8 over spring onion, and 30 over daffodil. So all that comes over to 40, 62, 48, 30. Oh, it actually says right there, kind of, except right there. Um, so yeah, we're going to take that. And we basically made our money back from what we spent on our um, crops the other day. All right, so all of our energy is gone. So it's back to uh, foraging around, looking for any gifts or items we can sell. It is raining out, so... Um, there might be some worms out, which worms are uh, quite interesting. Sometimes they can drop some good things if you uh, harvest them right. Let's go check up on the mine up here. It's still working on clearing it out. Alright, so I just visited our friend here and I got us a fishing pole. So while you fish, which does take up your energy, once that bobber goes down or yeah, usually when the bobber goes down, you can pull the fish out. Um, it's a little mini game you can play. Um, I was just going to check the beach around here for anything that came up onto shore. Like, there's those the worms I'm talking about. That if I would hit them again, but um, with the right tool. But uh, as you can see, our energy level is pretty bad. Um, to fix this bridge, we're going to take 300 pieces of wood. And it just gives a little section out to the right that you can use, and, uh, yeah. So, we'll keep that in mind. It's about 3 o'clock, so we're going to keep adventuring off. Already, we have two dandelions. I think those are a fish, and, um... Alrighty, folks. So, I went ahead. I actually started out uh, organizing everything out and uh, stuff like that. I am completely exhausted. As you can see in the bottom right corner there, there is like nothing left in my energy bar. And it even says zero out of uh, 270, which means uh, another hit and I'll end up in the hospital for being over exhausted. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go to bed a little early. It is 11 o'clock, so I guess that is some good timing. We're going to check out, you can even see the character walk so slowly. We're going to check out the weather report. It's going to be clear and sunny, so we'll spend some time watering those fortune tellers say neutral so uh nothing bad or good will happen tomorrow so we'll see as you can see we only have like half of our energy bar um because of how 
low it was and how late it was. Alright, so it looks like we're um, almost fully plant or almost fully grown for our field one here. Um, almost done with these, I think another day or two. Um, I did get a bunch of stuff. Oh, hold on. We're going to put that stuff away. I did get a gather a bunch of this stuff that we will go ahead and oh, sell off. Oh, yeah, uh, here's our journals. So, we've met 14 out of something people. So, yeah. We're gonna just... Actually, we'll, we'll go over to the market and sell this stuff ourselves. Um, I don't know. We need to plant that stuff, but the rest of the stuff will just be put in that bin. Um, we're gonna keep the coal, though. So, yeah, let's go into town. Oh, there's some flowers up here that we'll have to come back. Oh, actually, we'll grab some. Actually, we do have room for all of them. So we'll just come up um, and grab all of these. Here's the bus that we took into town that no longer works, unfortunately. So there is no leaving this town. You are stuck here. Um, so, yeah. We'll just void, voyage. We'll uh, venture up a little bit. Just... Um, grab any more flowers that could be hiding around here. But maybe we'll keep the flowers. We'll keep them and give them to people now. It's locked. Opens at 9. So we have 30 minutes before they open. So uh, we'll, we'll just keep adventuring out here. We'll go inside those buildings uh, one of these days. Um, It is... 940 so we'll go ahead and uh, make our way to the store sell off all the crops we have in our pocket there and whatever this is <laughs> I can't wait for sprinklers um so now we have all those lovely crops we're gonna take the long way up and around our farm on um, the dog has water as you can see in that corner there so we don't have to worry too much about him we're gonna check in here for anything nope so uh, we're gonna go out we're gonna adventure a little bit we're gonna go sell our crops buy new stuff it's 7 40 so the place isn't open just yet um oh look at that we got some ooh, random stuff out here this is amazing i love it more stuff to sell or to gift um so we're gonna come down this way um and i'll show you a little bit of our mine which is this way here. Um, the mine, there are these things called slimes and stuff that uh, do attack you. So you do get a sword. So here's the little mine that was closed off the other day. If you come into here, here's our friend. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good. There, there's probably good are down there. Still, there's Good ore down there. Good ore. Sorry, I was reading way too fast. But a dark place undisturbed for so long. I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this. You might need it. We just received a sword. You received a rusty sword. Sword. Name is Marlin. By the way, I run the Adventurer's Guide right outside. I'll keep my eye on you, prove yourself, and I might think about making you a member. Well, that's pretty cool. So now we have this lovely sword in our corner. Um, and you can come down and you can mine down the shaft as the elevator. The cart's not work yet, but... Um, we're gonna go sell the products we have in our pocket, and uh, we might go check that out while... Our energy is still pretty high. Um, we are sitting at thirteen hundred dollars, so we're gonna buy about thirty. Different, we're gonna buy thirty crops. Um, it's day five of the season, so uh, we could buy something special that will uh, keep reproducing, such as the beans we were talking about the other day. Now that we are sitting on some good money for that, or we could keep it down and uh, oh. Okay, and buy that backpack. Alright, so, we're gonna sell this, sell this, sell this, sell this. We can't sell the clay, so we have the two grams. Um, so, we have 30 slots available. 
So why don't we buy the 15 here? 15. Um, and then it takes six days to produce a colorful flower. So colors. Two. How long does it take for this? 40. 10 days, but it keeps growing back. Um, 12 days. Six days, and I have a chance to do more than just one. Kale, six days. Jazz seeds. Plant in spring takes seven days to produce a blue puffball flower. Grass. Oh, we don't want grass. Um. Hmm. Let's take the step. We'll do kale. We'll do 15 kale. Which brings our money down to $700, which is okay. Um, and then we're going to do just six beans here. And I think that's all we're going to take today. Um, so we're going to go plant all this stuff up, and uh, I think we'll be out of energy by then, and it might be nighttime. So we'll see. All right, so there's our beautiful crops and farm, which is definitely expanding now um so we have our six beans over here 15 parsnip right here and in the next row which is we're gonna call it field uh two so we're gonna go left to right so field one has the uh kale field two is parsnip field three is parsnip and our little mini field four there is our beans um, so as we keep expanding, we'll also have to create a, um, scarecrow that, uh, will help stop birds from attacking our fields here. And my plan for that is that these are all five long, so we'll just break a middle piece right about here. And I think we are able to create one, um, soon. I don't think we have the recipe just yet, but there's our cherry bombs and our bar field snack I guess and that is one acorn one maple seed and one pine so we'll keep that in mind it gives us uh, health and energy so that'll be great um, we have our nice little sword now which our inventory is starting to look a little full with all of our stuff in it but that's all right we're gonna unload some of it right into this one um, we don't need some of this stuff right now um, we're gonna bring the geodes some other day right now, just it's not a good time. Um, we are going to have some fun though, real quick. We're going to take this and we're gonna build some stuff. Um, such as, yeah, just something to look a little prettier here. And it, it's mighty beautiful. I, I like it. Um, we do have some, we have one flower in here that is sitting nice and pretty for whenever we run into another friend of ours. Or, um, there is something called a Easter festival coming up, so we'll use that and, uh, give people gifts. Um, it's next week, so we have a little time to keep it gathering. Um, but for right now, I'm gonna keep knocking out some trees and stuff. I'm just gonna get all this grass out of here. Or, I don't know what to call that. Fibers. There you go. All the fibers out of this little area. Um, so, a thought we could do is we could make a little field right off the side here of our house um uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. right off the side of our house here and that'll just have a couple of little crops for us to uh keep for ourselves and that is for our energy purposes which would be a great little idea um can't so we'll do just something a little small Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to break that and uh, we're going to make our scarecrow. Uh, do we have enough to make another one? We don't have enough wood. But now if we put this guy down, he will watch over the little area right there. Um, this and place him right there. And we'll do that for every field here. Um, and for now we'll throw everything back in here we'll grab some of the stone and keep building up our so there we go it's only seven so there's not a lot we can do from here and our energy is pretty low so 
but we made it pretty far. We have a nice farm out here. Um, we have our four-ish fields, um, which 15, 15, or 14, 15, 15, 45 plus uh, six. So we have 41 crops out here, which is awesome. So yeah, for now, that's all we're gonna do. I'll see you guys next time.